Protesters are also out in force this weekend across the Hudson Valley rallying against those abortion bans. News 12's Ben Nandy has more. We're here outside the Rockland County Courthouse. Big event today to protest the Supreme Court's Roe v. Wade decision. It was also a get out the vote event. Some people telling me they and their families are still in shock over the Supreme Court's latest decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. My 100 year old mother in law lives with us. And she said to me yesterday, she said, I know I woke up in 2022, but I feel like I'm back in 1950. There are less rights today than I had in 1950. Activists are using this moment to organize voters and volunteers ahead of the November congressional elections. Speakers here say they can reverse this and other rulings by voting out leaders who vote to confirm justices. But in November, will the energy be the same? I hope so. I believe there will be. Uh, if we don't, then no one should blame what's going on. They got to blame themselves. Protesters also gathered across the river in Hastings, and another event is planned in White Plains tomorrow. Back in Rockland County, several people tell me they felt desperate until they came here to see about 300 others ready to mobilize. Because of solidarity, I think it does help. To Stephanie Rice, this is uplifting. Rice says she's out here for other women in other states where abortions are likely going to be outlawed. She wants thought about moving out of the Northeast, but after the ruling, she says she's staying right here in New York State where abortion access is being expanded. I've dealt with fertility issues. Um, I've had many miscarriages. I think it's something that needs to be spoken about a lot more, so I'm very proud to speak about it. Um, and if I was in the position where I had to make that choice, I would want it to be my choice versus somebody else making that for me. The organizer said one after another they hoped that this could be the beginning of a revolution led by women. One of the organizers there at the end when she was shutting things down said to the group, get some rest tonight because we go to work tomorrow. Ben Nandy, News 12.